Let's illustrate what happens now and why so many of these batteries are ruined. Imagine a child is in your living room and he spills his red fruit punch drink on your, on your light colored carpet. Well, if you immediately get down and you start blotting with a little bit of cold water and an absorbent towel, you can take it out. No problems. On the other hand, if you let it stay there until tomorrow, you'll have a stain, a permanent stain. The secret to getting past the problem with success is to move quickly. When your battery plates experience sulfation, it's not a big deal if we reverse the process right away, i.e. recharge the battery immediately. If we don't get to it right away, the lead sulfate, which is on these plates, crystallizes and it gets to the point where it will not go back into solution anymore. It's ruined. The whole battery is ruined because of this. Now, when you're driving your car, you start your car that pulls a lot of energy out of here. We start to get these deposits on our plates, but it's no big deal because as soon as the motor is running, the generator comes to life and she starts pushing the electrons back through here and we recharge the battery. The problem is eliminated because we got to it right away. But what happens if you discharge the battery and there's no recharging to take place. Okay, we we'll use our battery. Electrons go out, electrons come back. We get depositation and then it disappears and everything's going along fine and we can reuse the battery and cycle it over and over and over again. Here's where we get into trouble, okay? A battery can internally discharge all by itself, okay? Even if nothing is drawing the electrons out of it, it can do it all by itself. The warmer the battery, the faster it will discharge itself. So in a warm environment, this happens pretty quickly. Also, all cars have what's referred to as a parasitic draw. Parasitic draw is anything outside the battery that draws power from it or discharges it. A clock, a light, a short circuit, sometimes even some dirt along the top of the battery will do it. Now, whether your battery is suffering from parasitic draw or internal discharge, it will develop sulfation. Some people put a shutoff switch between the battery and its cables to try to break off the connection between the battery and any parasites. And that works, but it does not protect the battery from internal discharge. So, if we don't recharge it quickly, the damage will be permanent. So if you don't drive your car regularly, or if you store the car, if you don't take steps to reverse the sulfation, your battery's doomed. The solution to the problem, the way to stop buying batteries yearly, is to use a maintenance charger. This is a battery charger which is designed specifically to offset the internal draining that the battery is going to go through and any parasitic draws it has. This one is called a 386-245. It's the one that we carry here at Moss. This particular one I took from the shop next door this morning. We have power supplies that we use for testing various parts, but we also once in a while want to connect a part to a real battery to see what it does. And to keep those real batteries alive and well, we use this exact tool right here. It works very, very good. Now these charges attach to the battery. Most people then find a way to bolt it or hide it inside the car someplace. And when the car is gonna be stored or not used for a while, they just simply connect the extension cord to the plug and the battery charger goes to work. This will put in just enough amperage, just enough power to compensate for the internal discharge and the parasitic draw that'll take place. The battery stays charged, no sulfating can take place, the battery's good. So, if you don't drive your car two or three times a week, and you don't like buying new batteries, a maintenance charger is a must for your car.